Hey guys, today I did a really kind of dramatic purpley blue eye. And it was funny because when I first started doing this today, I thought I want to do something dramatic. I want to, you know, like really play with my stuff and do something fun. And, um, you know, I didn't really know what colors I wanted to do. And then this kind of, you know, this is what I did. And later I started thinking, this totally reminds me of something. Um, yesterday I got a new iPod and I went to get like a blue one. Normally I don't really like purple things. I like purple like makeup and stuff, but I don't really like purple things. But it was just the most gorgeous purple. It's one of those nanos. And um, I replaced my old pink one that was broken. It's just funny because it's like the prettiest purple and it's like almost like a purple blue and that's what this reminds me of. So when I got finished with it I thought that's so funny. It's totally my iPod. So anyways it's a really dramatic look. It's something that I probably would not wear uh, to church or <laughs> to the grocery store or wherever and I normally don't even like rules like that. Um, but it is really kind of more dramatic so um It'd definitely be perfect for like a night out or a concert. It would be perfect for a concert, like a party or something. The Rock of Love bus, if you're gonna go on that. But seriously, I really like it and um, it is fun and different. So if you guys wanna see how to do it, then keep watching. All right, so for this, I've already applied my Urban Decay Primer Potion just to prevent creasing, um, especially because I'm going to apply a cream color base next, which these can be known to crease and this one is called Bat Black. I don't like using black bases normally especially like um, black ground paint pot just because it is a little frosted and this one is kind of like a really really deep almost black purple and these apply much more liquidy. Now you just want to get a little bit on your finger and um, just dab it onto your lid. You definitely don't want to leave it like that or something. I mean obviously it's not blended but um, you definitely want to shear these out as much as you can. And you're just going to blend it out kind of into the crease and just patting it out with your finger beyond that. I've said it before, these um, cream color bases are especially nice to use with pigments because they're so sticky. Um, but today I'm just going to use all eyeshadows. Alright, so your first step is to take a flat brush, kind of like a 239. This is a Sigma SS239. And, um, Graphology eyeshadow and I'm going to get that on one side of the brush and you can see just how dark that color is and I'm just going to pat it on this outer half of my lid so what I love about this particular brush is that it works very very nicely in the crease because it's so soft and it is kind of dense um, well it's very dense so when I get to the crease, I'm just going to kind of turn it sideways and kind of just swoop it down. Then you can go ahead and take a blending brush. This is um, an SS224 and it's clean so I'm just going to go around that edge in the crease so it looks now a little taking better. Taking the other side of that flat brush or just a totally different one, um, you're going to take a bright purple like Vibrant Grape. This color is a pro color, uh, but you know anyone can call the number in order. And I'm just going to start kind of working that brighter violet or brighter purple um, into the look. I'm just going to kind of start working that into the middle. And I'm covering that line uh, where the graphology met the um, part with no eyeshadow. You definitely want to keep the intensity of this, so um, you know you don't want to blend it out so much. You just want to keep patting, and then you can flip the brush over and pat along the edges. All right, next, take that same 239 brush that you used before. I guess I probably should have done this before; just it would have been less confusing, and um, take it right along edge right there, touch it to the edge, and take it along your lower lash line. Using this brush because this color is going to be just a little bit thicker down there. And kind of concentrate the most color right there on that edge so that it makes like a clean um, corner or a little kind of rounded edge. Alright, then I'm going to take Creme de Violet 
which is a really pretty bright kind of violet. It's another flat brush again. I'm using a MAC 239. And apply that right to that area where there's no color yet. And this color has just a little bit of sparkle to it, so it's going to look really pretty on that inner corner. Alright, now for the crease. You really want this edge to look very smooth, so I'm going to take a 217 brush and that first dark color we use, the Graphology, and I'm going to just apply that right along the crease and it will kind of make it look much smoother. Then I'm going to take the Creme de Violet again on my SS224 brush and I'm going to apply that right at the edge of that dark color that we just applied. And just kind of swirl it upward. Don't worry about it going up too high because we're going to apply some lighter colors up there that's going to kind of work it down a little bit. Alright, now I'm going to apply some black. I'm going to use Carbon by MAC which is just a really, really dark matte black and kind of a more precise brush. So I'm going to use the SS219. And I'm just going to kind of work that into the outer V, kind of touching this area along my lash line, sweeping it upward and around into the crease, just slightly though. And then, to kind of make this outer edge a little more pronounced, um, I'm just going to sweep it up in the same angle that my lash, my lower lash line is following. So you could imagine like an invisible line that just kind of um, continues up. I'm just going to kind of sweep that upward. Then you can kind of take a more sharp brush or a more precise brush, like a 242. I know I'm using like a million brushes, but um, and just kind of apply that right along the area that connects to the lower lash line right over where we applied that graphology but sticking even closer to the lash line than we did with that All right, now for this kind of glowy almost bluish effect um, First, I'm going to apply a white eyeliner pencil. A coal eyeliner is best just because it's um, obviously going to be softer, especially when you're working around your eye area because it's very delicate. Um, then I'm just going to tap it in with my finger. Take any kind of brush, it doesn't really matter what kind it is, um, just as long as it's small enough to get right here. And I'm going to take vellum, which looks like a white shade but it actually has some kind of blue frost to it and um, since that's kind of like a duochrome color it's going to really um, bring out the blue over whatever color that you put it on um, it kind of creates that glowy effect and it really brings it out when you apply it um, you know to your skin or over different colors or whatever you want to do so um, those are really cool I'm just applying it right over that and then I'm going to apply it right along the edge of everything I've done. And that's just going to create that glowy effect again. I'm going to take a little bit of a larger brush, um, like a 224 for this. This is a Sigma 224. And apply it lightly just over that color. Then I'm going to actually take it around this color. I'm just going over the edge of everything that I've done. Especially right here. It's going to really bring out a nice um, glow right here. And then right along this area. Alright, for my brow highlight, I'm going to use Vanilla Eyeshadow by MAC, which is a really light cream shade. Don't want to do anything too frosted up there since this look has um, kind of got a lot going on. And I'm just applying that with a brush that's a little more precise on the end so it doesn't take it down too far. And this is a MAC 252. Alright, for liner, I want to keep it kind of simple since I've got, again, a lot going on. Um, but, I think for this, it's best to use a cream liner. I'm using my MAC Fluid Line and Black Track. As I apply it, I'm going all the way in um, to my little point at the tear duct. But keep it very thin on that inner corner. Not going to wing it out or anything since it's already pretty black on that outer corner and you can't really 
see it anyways. Then taking the same product and a 266 brush, I'm going to apply it to my waterline. Kind of mushing it into the lashes. You don't really want to get a whole lot um, of this really super close to your eye. For mascara, I use the L'Oreal Full Definition um, Voluminous. I kind of wish I didn't apply false lashes now because I can't really tell much of a difference. It's good stuff. Um, but I'm going to apply some anyways. Alright, so for my lashes, I used the 36s. Those um, weren't my favorite when I first started using them. But since then, I've bought quite a few pairs. And I actually really like them. And I never wear false eyelashes usually. Um, like I was saying, these kind of, I can't even really tell the difference when I had one on and one not on. Um, but they're really pretty. They add a little bit of thickness to my um, lashes, which I like. For my cheeks, I used, uh, whoa. Gingerly blush. I didn't want to do anything like super bright since my lips are pink too. And for my lips, I used the NARS Roman Holiday lipstick, which I really like. Um, so thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll talk to you all very soon. Bye. Um. All right, now I'm going to take. What the hell is this called? Um, a coal liner, uh, bleh, 